some of the things that I see is delayed referral or delayed evaluations. Some schools would start response to intervention that's supposed to take a certain period of time and they keep going in the intervention for months and months at a time, even though those interventions are not working and it's time to do an, an, a special ed evaluation. Uh, we see disagreement with evaluation outcomes and placement. Many parents do not understand that they have the right to disagree with the evaluation and request an independent education evaluation. They don't know that. They just go there, these are the outcomes and you have to take it or leave it. Parents do not know that they can object to the outcome if, does, if it does not reflect the needs of their, their child. They also have the right to disagree with placement. We as advocates always push for more inclusion because we feel that students learn more from typical peers. That seclusion, even though it's an option, it's not the preferred option, but it's there to meet the needs of certain students. So parents need to know that they have the right to express their opinion if the placement option is not what they want. Limited parent involvement in the IEP process, you just talked about that. It's important that parents are aware that if you do not attend the meeting, you skipped on your right and your child's right to, to have a voice, to change things. There is a part in the IEP that says parent concern. And I tell parents all the time, even if they don't agree, that section is yours. You can document anything and everything you want to document. Because at a later time, if you want to come and say, I made this request and they denied me, if it's not documented, then it's their word against heads. So parents need to be at the table and be able to document what their concerns are. Uh, poor implementation of IEP goals and services. If a child needs to, let's say his uh, IEP says uh, speech therapy twice a week, and he does not, this child does not see the speech therapist once a month, then the IEP is not implemented. So this is something that parents, parents come to us and say, how can I make sure that he's getting the services that he's entitled to? The last thing is lack of progress monitoring. Like, Every nine weeks, the school has to send a progress monitoring, a progress report to home. Parents have to stay on top of it. They do not want to waste the whole year of education without making any progress. So these are the top five things that I have.